to look at the retail template from Apps Maker Store. So when you start a subscription with us, we give you access to a page like this. And it's from this page that you can update the content of your app as many times as you want. So I'll just talk you through some of the key points uh, over the next couple of minutes. So here at the top is the icon that you can use to uh, showcase your app and your customers will see that then when they download the app from uh, App Store or Google Play. So you can update your own logo there. This page that we're in now is called Dashboard and this allows you to update the design, the gadgets which are the functions of the apps and send messages to your, uh, your customers. Mm -hmm. So I'll just talk you through now uh, the gadgets that we have that are most relevant for retail. So all of the gadgets are on the left. This is a list of them all broken down into sections. So we've got information about your business, shopping, which is key for retail. This is the gadget that allows you to list all the products that you've got, the pricing, the payment methods, and also the delivery methods. So you can set up exactly how you want the purchase experience to be for your customers. We also have... Um, events so you can have a VIP event for example to launch a new product range or to reward your customers and they, they can you add that into the app by clicking this button and you'll see this line here this column here is all of the live gadgets that are in the app at the moment and we've just put in events there and I'll show you how to edit that in a, in a moment so your customers can book to attend events you can have mailing lists, so you can send them information uh, for your marketing going forwards. The form editor is where you can get ideas and feedback from customers and reward them, so you can have a promotion or quizzes, a competition, etc. that people can only access using the app, so it gives them a reason to download your app. Um, the loyalty stamp um, is here, and that allows you to reward your customers every time they make a purchase with you. So instead of having to have a, like a paper card that you stamp physically every time they make a purchase, all of the information, the number of purchases they've made is stored in the app. So all the things are very, very simple process. So as long as they've got their smartphone or tablet, they'll be able to um, be rewarded when they, they buy from you. We've got all of the uh, key social media links, so Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. We've also got a Facebook like, so your friends can like and share the app for you. Um, we have a photo upload so people can, uh, say for example you can win a competition for people to send the best photo of them wearing your products or using your products and then you can reward them. Again it's engaging with your customers uh, through the app. Um, and finally most uh, useful is, uh, one of the most useful sorry for retail is points of interest. So this automatically sends your customers a push message when they're close to your outlet so it can encourage them to visit and you can update the content, as I say, whenever you want. So let's just go through a quick example now. If you wanted to, say, go into shopping, you can see shopping here, and it's reflected here. This is how it would look in the actual app. If you wanted to change it from shopping to um, products, for example, you just retype it in there, press return, and it's automatically updated, and you can see how it would look there. If you wanted to edit the content of the app, so say you wanted to look at the different product groups that you've got. This is a, for a fashion retailer. So say you wanted to go into women's wear, you wanted to edit that. You can, quite simply there, you can change it from women's wear just to women's clothes, for example. Oops, there you go, women's clothes. You can then put all the kind of information, you can change the style of the, uh, of the text. You can upload photographs and images using this button. When you've made your changes, you press save. You say, okay, I want to preview it now. And it updates here, and you can see it's changed it to women's clothes. Up here as well, we've got the VIP club, which is the loyalty stamp. So when you go into the VIP club, your customers can get a 20% discount when they buy five items from you. So every time a customer comes in with the app, makes a purchase, your member of staff presses the your member of staff sorry, presses the stamp card button, issues a, a code, 
he puts in a code that you set using the um, dashboard, and then one of the stamps is allocated to the customer. And then on the fifth stamp, or you could make it six or seven, it's automatically redeemed so you can give them the exclusive promotion and reward them for their, for their custom. So that's how you can update the content of your app. Um, very, very easy. If you wanted to, say, for example, change about us, you're in, it's the edit function here, it'll open up. Uh, there you go, you've got a nice image, you can change that image whenever you want. Then you could say about our great store, and then you can put the text underneath. You then preview, see how it would look like on the app about our great store, see I like that, and save it. And I've got an appointment. <laughs> anyway, we'll go back. So it saved the, um, the change there. Um, you want to say about, I want to say about those. There you go, and it's changed. So every time you've been making changes, our system remembers it. And you see this button up here? Whenever you've made changes, it turns red and it says save changes. You just press that button there and instantly the app content is updated. So your customers receive a real time update. They don't have to download the app again. It's automatically done for them, so it's a very, very easy way for you to update the content. If you want to make a lot of changes, but don't want to issue them all at, at the same time, so you've got a few hours on a Sunday afternoon and you want to uh, put a new range in, you can write the content here. You just press that little lock button. And what that does is block the content. So when you press the refresh, that content that you put hasn't, isn't uh, put into the app. The minute that you want to release it, you just unpress that, so it unlocks it and you press the update button and your customers will automatically get the new content. So it's a very, very effective way for you to be able to, to manage the content of your app. Um, just going through some of the other functions here, you can change the style of your app. So say you wanted to change it to the London layout, it would make it look like this. And then we've got other functions, but I, I really like the New York version. It's nice, easy to use, slip along the bottom that people can navigate. You can change the background image, you can change the colour, the icons, the fonts, anytime you want. Um, finally, you've got the message board. So this is where you can send your customers a message. So you can select, you want to send it now, or you can send it on a certain day, on a 